Welcome back to Auntie's Kitchen. This is part two. We are going to talk about the plant nation. If you were a plant, what would you like to be? I think if I were a plant, I can think of three. First one would be a hybrid of a strawberry cedar plant tree, providing medicine and food. But the only way you could gather its fruit and branches would be to immerse yourself in the water. That way, no one could ever take for granted the life she gives. Maybe it's because I love to cook. Maybe it's because I like to share what I learn. Finding creative ways to feed the spirit and nourish the heart. Much like the strawberry, odeamon, or heartberry. The next plant I would like to be is the whitewater lily. Except this lily glows pink and only blooms under Nokomis, Grandmother Moon. She is a guiding light for travelers lost out at sea, deeply connected to land, water, and the stars. This plant travels the depths of water, a late bloomer with many teachings to share. Lastly, if I were a plant, I think the dandelion would also represent me. Resilient, often mistaken for a weed, when in actuality, it is a medicine and food with deep taproot systems and able to grow in places many simply could not. If you were a plant, what would you be? So for my side dish, I decided that I'm going to use the scraps left over from the other dishes that I have made. These are usually the scraps that I would normally throw in the compost or I don't really know what to do with.